a very good morning welcome to js testing academy welcome to the next part of video on the chain meter so since now we are uh, right uh, we are testing uh, we are using lot of concepts in chain meter and we saw okay now we are going to see a very very important video where how to connect uh, right a uh, chain meter with the uh, jenkins right normally we used to run lot of jobs in jenkins for example selenium job rest assured job apm job right uh, we all used to configure in jenkins we all used to update that in palm.xml and we run it not only in jenkins we do in azure pipeline bamboo we do it right we lo uh, do in lot of red ci cd tools okay same day we connect with jit uh, we connect with uh, right jit and jenkins we used to connect with docker uh, we run in aws cloud right we do lot of things okay now how to um, we just will see how to integrate jmeter with uh, jenkins and run uh, through a job in jenkins that is what we are going to see okay now let's go first uh, one thing right a uh, jenkins should be downloaded and installed and signed up uh, right in your jenkins you can see our previous videos in our channel where we have put videos for how to configure the jenkins okay uh, so just you should download jenkins install it sign it up then uh, you have to install all the default plugins in the jenkins then you should log in the jenkins and you should able to see the screen please see the previous videos for basic setup of jenkins okay now let's go to manage jenkins first already i have right uh, all these right plugins already have uh, we need to go to plugins right we should go to available plugins and search for jmeter plugins we hope you remember we used to add jitter plugins maven integration plugins for all selenium tools right same way we need to install plugin jmeter plugin already i have in the install plugin so but when you are doing you should do in the available plugins okay we should search for jmeter plugin okay you can see right jmeter plugin there are three plugins app dynamic dashboard plugins make sure is there jmeter load testing in cloud that should be there and performance plugin all three plugins should be there now i did the performance plugin now okay when you are doing please search in available plugins link and you do this performance plugin okay all these three things should be added also okay now let's go to dashboard okay let's create a new item create a new job jmeter demo okay let's create a freestyle project and click okay jenkins is a ci cd tool integration tool where right we can run right schedule our execution and run in a server okay instead of doing locally we can set up this jenkins at any given point of time what time we want to run it automatically invokes and runs it okay and we can schedule it and run run it that's the use of the jenkins ci means continuous integration and continuous development okay so after creating a freestyle project we should go to general in general we should go to click click advanced and use custom workspace to click and we should give the directory okay what directory the apache jmeter path right the bin path right you should give that okay make sure i giving the directory there okay now uh, let's go and go to build steps okay in build steps we can see execute batch command right we have to click it and we have to 
type a command here okay what is the command j meter iphone n we hope you remember in the previous uh sing with this all right n means non-gy mode okay t is the path okay then the path of the j meter bin okay then where is the jmx file we saved okay that path you should get it okay the name of the file name of the jmx okay correlation api jmx you should take okay then you should give the reporting also we should give right iphone L, the location of the uh, right the reports, the CSV file and the HTML report. Hope you remember in the last video we saw. Okay, the CSV file rep, uh, path. Same command line which we run that we are making it as a batch command and we are running through JMeter. Okay. So we are making it a CSV file. Then we can generate a report also. Okay. Then the path of the report and what report we want. Okay. HTML report, right? Okay, let first me run let me run with the csv file first then we'll come to this part okay let me go and in the add build step add environment right one minute and the add build step i need to go post build actions i need to go publish performance test report ah, we have to go here and click here here we need to give the report right what report and the what format path and the format okay instead of giving there we should give here okay we should give in the path of the report okay apply and save and now go and click build now the right the jmx file should test it and how many threads we are giving there according to the threads it click invoke and if you are using any ramp up, it will ramp it up. And if you are using a ramp down, it will ramp it down. Right. And it's going to fetch how many users and how many scenarios you are going to give in JMX in the JMeter file is going to execute. And you see, right, the build finished and it's going to generate a CSV file, the path which you gave. Okay. If you go and see the performance side, right, you can see the report also. You are getting a report here. You can also in the Jenkins. Okay, let me rerun again. One minute, the build has been passed. I click the trend report, JMeter CSV file. So get a response time here. One minute, let me go and see the CSV file. The CSV file is created. And if you go and click it, right, uh, an Excel file has been created, the response has been captured here. Okay. So we can generate a CSV file and also we can generate a HTML file that like last time what we did. Okay. So this is how we can integrate with Jenkins and run the 
performance testing j meter okay so hope you learned something out of this video uh, we can integrate with github also okay we can push it in github and we can run the right batch file we can run through github also okay a lot of things we can do okay make sure you installed jenkins downloaded installed jenkins and sign sign registered and signed it and installed all the plugins and then sign, then logged in then you can do all the actions whatever you want okay so hope this video is very uh, useful to you okay so uh, right thanks for watching the video have a nice day meet you soon in the next part of video bye